In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your type into a path or shape. This is useful, especially when you want to create logos or do something special with typographical elements. First, I'm just going to use the type tool to create some type on the canvas. Before converting my type into a shape, I usually do an option drag to create a copy or a duplicate because once it's converted to curves, it acts just like any shape that you create rather than editable text. So with my type selected, I'll go up to the modify menu and on that drop down list, I'm going to choose convert text to outlines. As you see, it changes my text into shapes. If I look in the layers panel, you can see that each character now is represented as its own shape. Type and shape layers look different in the layers panel, and they also behave quite differently. For example, if I double click on a type layer on the canvas, I'll get my blinking cursor and I can change my type. And all of the attributes for your type object, for example, your font, your justification, your alignment, your letter spacing are available in a editable type object. Another way to convert this type into curves is from the appearance panel here. So if I have selected the text tab here on the appearance panel, there's a little button that says convert text to outline. That's the same option as from the modify menu, convert text to outline. And I'll show you if I click this button, it does the exact same thing. So here's all of my characters now converted into shapes and you can see it represented there in the layers panel. If I would like to change now anything about this type, I can do that just like I could do to any shape that I create in Autodesk Graphic. For example, I can choose the Path Selection tool and edit this text. as standard vector information. I can also change things like the size, rotation, independently of the other characters because these are all shapes. So this is a really powerful feature that works great for being able to create unique logos especially or do any sort of special uh, treatment to your type or text elements. So use that convert text to outlines feature in graphic for things that you want to really play with and finesse and fine tune. You can also just manually adjust spacing this way because you can select each individual character. It's just really handy to have that. Something else that the convert text to outlines ensures is that font information will not be a problem if you want to transfer this document to someone else as like a PDF. So fonts in the graphic design world can tend to be a problem if you don't convert them to curves because you're never assured that someone else has the exact same fonts installed on their machine as you do. So the convert text to outlines helps to manage that problem quite well. So give the convert text to outlines feature a try and see what you can create. Thanks for watching.